excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the 16 Ninja, in the place to be for a Paper Saber Universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. Let's just jump right on in, man. I woke up grumpy. I woke up grumpy, lumpy, grumpy. I don't know why. I just woke up on the bad side of bed, as they say. And I got to say, this is why I love when I get to watch my pro wrestling and I can uh, just get all the feels back of being like, okay, life's not that bad. Don't make it that bad. Just get up off your ass and just have a good time. And I'm talking about Dynamite, AEW's Dynamite, baby. August 9th, 2023, Taz, Tony, Excalibur on commentary. We're in Columbus, Ohio. And um, we start to show off with the Jericho Appreciation Society mandatory meeting. Basically, Jericho comes out. Uh, you know, I'm glad they did this in the ring, though. I'm glad it wasn't some backstage segment or whatnot. It, it added more to the drama of everyone just walking out on Chris Jericho. You know, they're like, hey... We've given, given, given everything we can to you. You've given nothing to us. So, like, for the visuals and stuff like that, it definitely it definitely meant something. So, right after this, he's backstage. Renee tries to get up with him. Don catches him. He's like, hey, you know, that was pretty brutal out there. And Jericho's like, I will give you my official answer next week. And Don's like, baby, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of everything. And Renee's like, ah, I left in the wind. First match of the night, the Hardys versus the Young Bucks. I wasn't expecting much in this match, but damn, this was fun. Uh, I mean that in the sense of like all the stuff that Jeff's been through and some of the botching he's been doing in some matches and stuff like that. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a big match. Like I remember when the the first time these two met, and you know, and and all the way up to now, and the history these two teams have, and now, but uh, yeah, the Hardys, uh, they they brought it. And the Bucks brought it to the Hardys. So I was really happy about that. And at the end of it, they showed some respect after the Young Bucks won. They got the answer. Then the Young Bucks go, and, they, and they're about to say, FTR! And FTR comes out. I'm like, oh, shit. And they have accepted the challenge at All In. The Bucks and FTR, uh, round three, the rubber match, seven years in the making. This is going to be crazy. Was it seven or eight? I, 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 I kind of lost track because I got so excited when I saw this. Um... And that there's this great thing that made like this. This is what really perked me up after such a great match. MJF and Adam Cole at a trap at a trampoline uh, park and starts it off. He's like, "Oh yeah, you know me and you and some rats." He goes, "No, we're here at the trampoline park." And uh, uh, MJF's like, "What the? You know?" The <laughs> they go there. They and MJF is just like he's all just sitting there, all pouting and stuff like that. I mean, this was comedy gold. And Adam Cole's a kid, and this and that. And he's like, yeah, they do dodgeball here. And MJ was like, dodgeball? Ah, great little, like, montage of him just aiming at kids and taking them out one by one. And I'm laughing so fucking hard. My wife's like, you really love MJ. I was like, yes, he is. I, I put an uh, a X out there, if you want to call it now. Uh, it's like, I know now I know why I love MJF so much. Because he's the asshole I, I, I strive to be, but don't have the cojones to because it's MJF, you know. Um, but at, at the best part is when Adam Cole stops him. He's like, man, you can't do that here. And this little kid comes up, little kid flips off Adam Cole, calls him nerds and stuff like that. And Adam Cole's like, fuck it. <laughs> Get the kid. <laughs> oh, man, I, I, I don't know why, but this segment just brightened up my entire day. Um, then we have the BCC backstage. They're saying like, hey, you best watch out. And then, uh, Claudio takes, um, takes uh what do you call it uh he says Pac I I hurt you so you're not even gonna make it to Wembley Stadium Wheeler says the same thing you know putting the salt in the wound if you will a little bit more for uh Pac being out and everything like that um taking response uh, that's what the word I was looking for Claudio taking responsibility for the, this injury so I can't wait until Pac comes back to whoop that Claudio ass but the BCC is looking strong and they do tonight with the big match FTW Championship on the line. I wasn't expecting much of this match either. I wasn't expecting much of RVD versus Jack Perry, but this this was fun. Like, not the greatest match in the world, but this was fun. You got tables, you know, you got some chairs. The poor fucking ref. 
When Jack threw the chair at RVD and RVD ducked it and the chair just bap, and he's at ref just went, I was like, oh, I don't know if a ref bump was necessary in this match. Like, especially for a match that has anything that goes. But Audrey comes in and, you know, and she tries to count RVD, you know, Jack almost lost, you know, in the sense of the ref being out, whatnot. But Jack got the win and this was just a really fun, silly match. Renee's backstage with the Lucha Bros. They're going to take on the Blackpool Combat Club. And, man, that's a fight. A fight. Uh, up next, we got Adam Cole and MJF. I'm like, yes, twice in one night. I thought I was just going to get the trampoline package. No, we got them in, in the ring. And the best part about it is, like, uh, Adam's like, I want to talk to you, MJF. You know, I want to talk to you. He's like, what? You want a promo battle? Let's do it. And he's... And, <laughs> MJF goes off, says this Hogan line, you know, everything, man. It's just so great. And Adam's like, no, 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 no. It's not what I said. It's not what I said. I, I want to tell you, I want to go for gold. So they challenge Aussie Open at All In. Not So MJF is wrestling twice this night. It's on the zero hour show for All In. They are going All In on this show. If they're putting this type of caliber match with Aussie Open versus uh, Better Than You, Bay Bay. On the zero hour show, they want eyes on on the telly. They are they want eyes on the telly and Wembley and all around the globe. So I was like, oh hell yeah. Roderick Strong comes out, you know, being like, ah <laughs> and MJF just sets the fire on him and basically says, You can go shake it off and you you know, stop being a bland bitch and then <laughs> Roger's like, I'm not a bland bitch. And I, 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 I don't know why. I had to pause it here. I, I think I rewind this like four or five times. And there was shake it off chance, you know, because he told him to go listen to Taylor Swift. The kingdom comes out and takes Roderick Strong because Roderick said, the, ki- the kingdom was right about you. Yeah, I'm calling it. And, and <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, whatever. But the best part about this is. Oh, well, those, this is all good. This is all fucking good. But Adam gets in MJF's face. MJF has this way of having that devilish smile to that super serious look and like 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 this is why this dude needs to be in movies um and he uh, adam gets in his face he's like oh i'm sorry and then the crowd's like hug it out and when they hug it out we're all like oh 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 so i'm guessing we might get the turn at the zero hour this is where mjf will show his true colors to adam or adam will show his true colors to mjf and Roderick Strong, the side story with him being the jealous uh, jealous best friend is, is great. And the kingdom coming in makes it even better. But they're going to go for those Ring of Honor championships, tag team championships. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'm, I'm already, I've been all in. I'm going to stay all in. Let's do this. Uh, now we have the Lucha Bros versus the Blackpool Combat Club. Moxie and Claudio. Um, Wheeler on the outside. And man, this was a fight. But... Blackpool Comic Club for the win, and they ripped off Penta's mask to do so. Zero respect. Zero, zero respect, as uh, Moxley said. I was like, damn. Like, and then, d- then, then to add more to the drama, Claudio puts on Penta's mask, and I'm like, you son of a bitch. But BCC for the win. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I was just like, damn, dude. That, that, that's brutal. Taking his mask like that? Oof. Kenny Omega's backstage, uh, they ask, like, he has an interview next week with JR, talking about what his plans are for All In. He's happy for the Bucks going to face FTR, you know, two of the best tag teams going on in the world. And he says uh, he'll update us on life, basically. Him and Don and all his other crazy stuff, to Keshta, it's all going to be revealed next week with JR. Um, the Mogul Embassy. And I want to say this real quick. Seeing the Mogul Embassy in their entirety with all of them coming out and AR Fox being added, this has to be the most dangerous faction in all of pro wrestling right now. That's just in my mind, even though they got chased out of the ring by Sting at the end, but I got just looking at them. You know, you you got you got these monsters and you got Prince Nana who's so great. I love Prince Nana and that dance he does. I'm trying to learn that dance, but I don't have the swagger of Prince Nana at all. And Prince Nana's dance, you know, I, I don't know what he does, but he does it very well when he comes out to Swerve's music and it, it's, it tickles me so. And the Mogul Embassy is a threat. They are a threat. And I, and, uh, we're going to see Well, Darby comes out and he yells at AR Fox. He's like, I called you, man. You never answered, man. You know, but 
He goes, I got friends too. Sting comes out, clears the ring, but Sting challenges a Swerve. So we're going to get Swerve and AR Fox versus Darby Allen and uh, Sting at All In. I'm just like, hot damn. We're just building this card now. Joe, Punk, MJF, Adam Cole. Oh, my goodness. And then we have a huge women's championship match that's going to happen where uh, Sheeta's going to put that title on because uh, we'll get to the main event here in a bit. But I'm just saying, the Mogul Embassy is a stacked house of fire. Okay. AW World Women's Championship, the main event, uh, Hikaru Shida versus Anna J. No, you know, no more Anna J A S. You know, she got cool hand and daddy magic with her. There, there are no the J A S is dead. The Juggalo appreciate. I mean, the Jericho Appreciation Society is dead, and I'm okay with that. Uh, this this match was okay. I was having a little fun with it. The finish, I think, was supposed to be different from what we got. And because uh, Cool Hand, it looks like he's trying to put something in Anna Jay's hand, but the ref's still counting. One, two, three. Sheeta for the win. She's going to All In. She's going to Wembley Stadium. Um, Tony Storm's already in the this fatal four way. She got a bye. Uh, um, and we got uh, Anna Jay. I believe Anna Jay versus uh, Soraya is going to be at Rampage this Friday. Then we're going to have uh, Dr. Britt Baker. Versus, um, oh man, who, who's, who's she facing? Dr. Brick Baker, come on, come on, come on, KMB. Come on, KMB. Think, 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 think. I can't think right now. God damn it. Okay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I know Britt Baker's facing someone. I, I just can't remember who. <laughs> but it's going to be a big fatal four-way at all in. It's going to be huge. Um... And I, I'm already pulling for Sky Blue. I'm already pulling for Sky Blue to go all the way to beat Sheeta. But that's just me. And just to add it, add more drama to the mix, you know, you got Sheeta and you already got Tony Storm in his match. It's like Sky Blue in there. And if you put a Britt Baker in there, damn it, it's going to drive me fucking crazy. I don't have... Uh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But overall, you know, we'll talk more about this on Rampage. But overall, I got to say... Um, oh, real quick. I just remember something. So on Rampage, uh, Sky Blue versus Anna J. I said Sky Blue won on my review. It was supposed to be Anna J that won. I don't know why. I get so excited when I do these things, even with my notes in front of me and stuff like that. So apologies. I got called out on it. It's okay. It's fine. We move on. And that's just another day in this pro wrestling life and pro wrestling world, pro wrestling nerds, all that shit. So that's it. I give this show a good solid four out of five. I had a good time. We're setting up all in and we're only a month away. And, you know, it's it's exciting times here, folks. And then like a, two weeks after that is all out. So then we have uh, No Mercy. Then we got, you know, uh, Payback and uh, so many things. Then we got the NWA 75 year. Is this 75 years thing going on? Violet J is going to be there. It's like, holy shit. So many things are going on in pro wrestling right now. It's crazy. So I give this a four out of five. Tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share it your grandma. Share it your grandma. Share it with the bum down at Walmart. Also, go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast. Get yourself that sweet NWP logo created by Penta X. That's it. That's all. I am KMB, the Sexy Ninja. And remember, the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Adam Cole, you are so skinny and ghostly pale white that if this were the 80s, Hogan would have snorted you. Okay, Max.